Gir National Park in Western India. The only place in the world where you can find Asiatic lions. The king of these parts, straight tail. Miles of land, an abundance of prey, and over 25 lionesses in his pride. Straight Tail has a lavish kingdom, and such great riches bring great envy. Rival lions are eyeing his territory, and they're itching for a fight. But unknown to the king, there is an even greater problem lurking in the shadows. A deadly virus has swept through his kingdom. The canine distemper virus, CDV, has already killed dozens of lions. Now they must fight back. Will they be able to survive, or will this be? the last of the lions. A beautiful day in gear in the monsoon season. Straight Tail is patrolling his territory as always. But these are troubled times for the king. The once invincible monarch has been weakened by the loss of his brother and ally, Banu. Side by side, the two brothers conquered these jungles, claiming kilometers of land for themselves. One fateful evening, Banu went for his usual patrol and never came back. It has been two weeks since that day and there is no sign of him anywhere. Straight Tail is worried. What has happened to his brother? Rumors rise in the air that he fell victim to the virus, CDV. It is incurable and fatal. In Africa, the same virus killed thousands of lions. Now it has come to gear to claim further victims. Was his brother one of them? Straight Tail cannot be sure. And his troubles will not wait for him to find the answer. Rival lions are closing in. They would give anything to usurp his crown. His brother's disappearance has weakened his defenses and his lavish kingdom is under threat. Not only his own life, but his children's lives are in danger too. If another lion defeats him in combat, they will take all that Straight Tail calls his own. His land would be taken, his lionesses claimed, and his cubs, well, they would be seen as future challengers for the crown. They would not be spared. Straight Tail is right to be worried. His youngest queen, Kolawali, or the Collared One, has just given birth to three cubs. They are incredibly vulnerable. Till now, she has kept them hidden deep inside a thick patch of the forest.
Straight tail cannot protect them 24-7. He needs to patrol the rest of his territory too. Kolowali and two of her sisters, Leela and Maya, must guard the cubs on their own. The sisters also have to look after two juvenile cousins who have recently joined their group. Often related, lionesses live together in groups for safety. But these cousins are barely a year old and still unpracticed in the art of hunting. There's not much fighting power here between them. The best strategy is to remain hidden. But they do need to hunt or they will starve. And Kolowali needs to feed her young cubs. She and Maya leave to bring food for the rest of the family. It is a huge risk to leave the small cubs alone but Kolowali has no choice. Leela is the only adult left to guard them. Kolowali is an experienced hunter, but hunting requires patience and time. She has neither. Every minute she is away from home, her cubs are in danger. She knows that on her own, Leela will not be able to ward off an attack from a powerful male lion. She needs to hurry back. She begins to survey the area. There is a big herd of deer grazing not too far off. She begins stalking her prey, inching herself ever closer. But unknown to her, someone else has also decided to set their sights on these deer. A leopard is also on the hunt, hungry for a fresh kill. But he's over eager. A careless step on his part alerts the deer. They begin screaming, raising the alarm call. Now everyone in the area knows of the incoming threat. A successful hunt relies almost entirely on the element of surprise. Now that the deer have been alerted, the game is up. For this leopard and for Kolowali. Frustrated, she fears she may have to go home empty-handed. But fortunately for her, Straight Tail has made a kill nearby, and he is happy to share with one of his queens.
She quickly enjoys a hearty meal before dragging the rest of it back to the family's hiding place. Remaining in the same small patch could prove costly, but she has no choice. Fortunately, the rains have helped her cause. Every year, heavy monsoon rains come lashing across this park. This year, they came late, but they've arrived in full force. Animals rush to find shelter wherever they can. including the lions. After days of torrential rain, today the sun is finally out. Kolowali decides to take her pride out onto a small hill nearby. This will give them a chance to get some fresh air and sunshine. The area is exposed, but at least the height allows her a good vantage point to spot any incoming danger. It's not good to be out in the open, but she knows that her young cubs are restless. They need some time to explore and play. The group are enjoying their day of fun when suddenly an angry roar disturbs their peace. The lionesses turn towards the commotion. It was definitely a male roar, and they know it wasn't straight tail. No one is quite sure where the roar came from or how far away it is. The threat could come from any side. Carefully, the females head to the bottom of the hill to investigate. They decide to leave the cubs behind while they search. A risky move. If the lion gets past their patrol, the cubs will be completely exposed. All three wait nervously, careful not to make a sound. Again, the roar rings around the area. The male lion is moving closer with every passing minute. This is a fight they can't take. The females need to make an escape plan. Kolowali calls out to her cubs. Tentatively, they scamper down to their mother. The young mother and her babies disappear into the bushes. But in the panic, they've been separated from the rest of the group. 
Now every one of the three sisters are on their own. Will this be a costly mistake? Not too far off, Straighttail's other family and his oldest queen, Katya, have also taken shelter during the rains. Like kings of old, lions keep several queens, who in turn bear them several potential heirs to the throne. Katya heads a family of four lionesses and nine cubs. Straight Tail's hopes for the future rest on these cubs, his princes. But right now they're barely a year old. They are not fighters. Far from it. Katya is wise and experienced. She knows that if her mate Straight Tail is to remain king, she will need to buy time for her cubs to grow and become strong. She needs to keep them hidden till they are ready for war. She moves the group around constantly to throw any rival males off their scent. Today, she decides to split the group into two smaller subgroups, easier to move around discreetly. Her sister, Cutnose, is in charge of the second group. Cutnose has been mourning Banu's disappearance more than anyone else in the group. Though he may have been Straight Tail's brother, he was her mate, so it is she who is feeling the loss the most. But she has a duty to the rest of the pride. She keeps a watchful eye on the youngsters under her charge. These are Kachia's babies, but they are very fond of their aunt, and can sense her despair. A couple of them cuddle up to her in the hopes of cheering her up. She clearly appreciates it, and she realizes that she must press on. She gathers the group and begins to hurry towards the meeting point with Katya. She knows they don't want to spend too long split up like this. Soon the group reach their destination and the entire pride is reunited. They will camp here for the night. Katya is relieved that her entire group is safe and united once again. But on the other side of the park, there's no sign of Kolowali and her sisters, who have been forced to scatter in the face of an impending attack. These Asiatic lions have been persecuted over millennia to the point where, in the late 1900s, there were barely a dozen or so left only in the Gear forests. The species was completely wiped out from all other parts of Europe and Asia. Today, more than 500 lions call this forest their home. 
A lot of hard work has gone into bringing this species back from the brink of extinction. But ironically, the success of these conservation efforts brought some new challenges. The national park is no longer large enough to support this increased number. As a result, there is intense pressure and fighting among the males to establish control over territories. are territorial animals and unless the males have their own land to control they will not be able to win over females and father children. The weaker and older lions are being pushed out of the boundaries of the park. Often spilling into nearby villages and towns. This old warrior has no territory left to call his own. His sorry state speaks for itself. As lions are pushed out of the park, there is a real danger of them coming into conflict with the humans who live on the outskirts of Gear. But the biggest challenge lies in the fact that the entire species of Asiatic lions is confined to just one small area. Conservationists have feared for a long time the danger of having the entire gene pool living so close together. Last monsoon, their worst nightmares came true. The lions contracted the highly contagious airborne virus canine distemper, CDV. There is no known cure for CDV, which saw Tanzania's Serengeti National Park lose one-third of its lion population in 1994. The virus is endemic to domestic dogs, of which there are plenty in the villages and towns surrounding the park. How did it get to the Asian lions in gear? Well, it's likely that the jackals living in the park are a key part of this story. Not only are they closely related to domestic dogs, biologically speaking, but they also overlap their territories with them. They're likely to scavenge alongside them and pick up the virus. Then bring this back deeper into the park, where it will have a chance to meet the lions. From there, it's only a subtle mutation for the virus to jump from a dog-like carnivore into a cat-like carnivore. In truth, this was perhaps inevitable. When lions and their cubs started mysteriously turning up dead one after the other, the rangers had a real crisis on their hands. By the time the forest staff realized that they were faced with such a grave threat, a pride of 23 lions had already fallen. A species which had taken 100 years to claw its way back from extinction would once again be confined to history books.
Fortunately, the virus first only struck the eastern fringes of the park. There were not many lion prides in this area. The hilly grasslands of Eastern Gear are not the most ideal landscape for lions, so few had ventured this far out. But the prey-rich land ruled by Straight Tail and his family is where most of the lions are concentrated. If the virus spread to this side of the park, it would mean disaster. When a virus is incurable like this one, treatment is no longer an option. Containment is the only way to stop the virus spreading. Humans have recently learned the truth of this firsthand. And this is what the staff of Gear National Park did. A massive campaign was launched to isolate the affected animals in the Eastern Range. But how do you isolate a wild species like the lions? Unlike most big cats, which are solitary, lions are social animals and live in large groups. So entire families had to be gathered. Huge circular ring cages were set up in the affected areas. Entire prides were lured to these cages and trapped. As one can imagine, the lions didn't take too kindly to this. It was a risky task for the rangers, but there were no other options. Teams of vets collected blood samples and conducted various tests on the lions of the affected areas of the park. Those who tested positive had to be quarantined. The isolation ward was set up for the affected lions and 27 of them were transferred here. Medical staff kept watch 24 hours a day. Many perished, but those who developed an immunity to the virus survived. Since then, almost every pride has had at least a couple of its members collared so that the rangers can keep track of them. Straight Tail and his family were fortunately not in the affected zone, but he and a couple of females from his pride have been fitted with GPS-enabled radio collars for safety precautions. His once great mane had to be trimmed to make way for the collar. And with his brother Barnu now missing, it is no coincidence that Straight Tail looks weak. A shadow of his former self. He is not the dominant male he once was. His youngest mate, Kolowale, and her small cubs have been forced to go on the run after their close encounter with one of his rivals. He has not seen them since. As Straight Tail searches for the culprit, there is one name that stands out, Veer. Veer has been eyeing Straight Tail's kingdom and lionesses for a long time.
but when Barno was around, he knew he was outmatched and outnumbered. He never dared to make a move. But now that Straight Tail is alone, he can sense a chance. Perhaps it's time for him to take the throne. It is a tough life being a male lion. You have to fight for every scrap you get. And if you can't fight, you get nothing. Dominant males like Straight Tail will force you out of their territory. No territory means no females to mate. But now Veer has a shot. If he can wrest control of some of Straight Tail's kingdom, he might be able to find some females to mate with. Was it Veer who ambushed Kolowali a few days ago? No one has seen the group since then. Having scattered in all directions, they are all struggling. The youngest of the three sisters, Maya, has been forced out of the protection of her pride for the first time in her life. Lost and lonely in the vast jungle, she does not know how to reunite with her sisters. In desperation, she tries to call out to them. This is an incredibly dangerous thing to do. A rival male lion is as likely to hear her as her sister, and if he finds her, it would be trouble. But she has exhausted all other options. Despite her repeated calling, there's no answer. She's all alone. Despondent, Maya gives up. Tired and hungry, she can go no further. She decides to spend the night here. The next morning, she starts her search again. The day is almost coming to an end when she finally spots her sisters. She catches them walking down a dirt path and quickly rejoins them. Kolowai is alive and she has one of her juvenile cousins with her. But Maya senses that all is not well with Kolowai. She does not seem overly happy. And then it becomes apparent why. Walking behind her is just one single cub. It seems at some point since they were separated, the other two infants were killed. This is a heartbreaking loss, the worst a young mother can suffer. Kolowale has had to pay the price for Straight Tail's waning authority. Not long on their journey, the rain gets heavier, lashing down with anger. They must find shelter again and take a moment to grieve their loss. But where is Leela? What has happened to her? 
The next 48 hours brings heavy rains and many parts of the park are being flooded. The animals are exposed to nature's full fury and many struggle to find shelter from the heavy rains. Slowly the monsoon eases off and the sun is out. Kolowale and what remains of her group are thankful to be back with Straight Tail. But they still haven't seen Leela. Unknown to them, Leela has decided to carve out a new destiny for herself. She has aligned herself to Devraj, the male lion of the neighboring area, hoping to start her own dynasty with him. Devraj is young and powerful, and she dreams of a great future with him. There is a good chance that it was Devraj who killed Kolowali's cubs. If that is the case, this is a great betrayal by Leela. Leela knows that Kolowali is Straight Tail's favorite queen, and she clearly isn't pleased with being lower down the hierarchy. With Devraj, she would be his senior most queen, should he become king. So Leela has decided to play the Game of Thrones and hedge her bets with him. Oblivious to this treachery, Straight Tail has other troubles to contend with. He has just learnt of trouble on his western flank. A group of three young male lions encroached on his land. Their leader, Raju, is ambitious. He has been eyeing Straight Tail's crown with greedy eyes for some time now. These three brothers were exiled from their home when they were only three years old kicked out by their paranoid father who was worried they might overthrow him. At the time, they were not strong enough to hunt on their own. So they had to survive on scraps. With no territory to call their own, they became nomads. But this harsh journey has made them strong. These three lions are true fighters, hardened through bitter experience. They are desperate to carve out a kingdom of their own, and they're here to exploit Straight Tail's weakness. But the lure of such a big prize is already causing strife among them. Each of the three feels that they should be the alpha ruler when the time comes. Fights between them have increased in frequency as each tries to establish his dominion over the others. Divided, 
they can never hope to challenge straight down. <laughs> Sooner rather than later, they will have to sort out the leadership quarrels once and for all, if they want to succeed. The monsoon season is coming to an end. Everyone is relieved to have survived the difficult period. Most families have escaped the torrential rains without many casualties. What is even more reassuring is that there have been no fresh cases of canine distemper virus in the past few weeks. Of the 27 lions which had been quarantined by the park rangers, 23 have survived. The cubs have grown into healthy juveniles and show no signs of the virus. Unfortunately, they can never be released back into the wild. It would jeopardize the other lions. But at least they are safe and the disease has been contained. The battle against the unseen enemy has been won. The virus has changed the lives of Straight Tail and his kin forever. They will be under closer surveillance from the park rangers who fear the return of the disease. Some thought will also need to be given to creating alternative homes for the lions outside of this single location. As a few more days pass and the rainy season truly leaves gear, the landscape undergoes another rapid change. The lush green colors of the forest have changed to brown and yellow hues already. Very soon the park will turn completely dry and arid. Summer temperatures of 40 degrees Celsius will parch the land and its residents will have to wait for the next monsoon for relief. It has been a tough year for Straight Tail and his family. He has accepted that his brother Banu is gone for good. It has been a huge setback. But he has done a marvelous job keeping the pride together and remains its lone leader for the time being. Though he lost two of the three small cubs from Kolowali, all his juvenile cubs from Kachia are safe and healthy. He has managed to buy them the most precious commodity of all in gear, time. Soon they will be old enough to take their place beside him as rulers of this kingdom. His line will prosper and add to the growing lion numbers in this park. The future may hold many more trials for Straight Tail and his pride, but today, in the sunshine, 
there is very much a feeling of peace and of triumph for the last of the lions.